Hey, what's going on guys and welcome to 15 secrets and hidden easter eggs for the division So before this starts, I just want to say that I do videos like this nearly every single day on my channel So if you're new to the channel feel free to click the subscribe button and also likes are greatly appreciated So anyways, let's go ahead and hop into 15 secrets and hidden easter eggs for the division the Division is set in New York City and the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles operate out of New York City. So it would make sense that there's some type of reference, right? Well, there's a coffee shop next to 7th Avenue and near there you can find on the ground some nunchucks laying on top of a pizza box saying Radical. So if you connect the dots, the nunchucks are of course the weapon of Michelangelo he likes to use and the pizza and the Radical refers to the turtles favorite food and catchphrases. When you enter the base of operations in the front in the right hand corner of the wall you will see a desk walk up to the desk and hey what do you have there that's right it's a pair of night vision goggles but it's not just any pair of plain night vision goggles it's the pair that the splinter cells sam fisher is known for here we have a Far Cry reference or secret. So head on over to East 49th Street and go up to the top of the ramp. And at the top you will find loads and loads of glass windows and head over to one of them and look behind one of them and you will see on the wall a Far Cry logo written across it. When you are doing the subway morgue mission for the tech wing, right before the lights are about to turn off, zoom into the control tower and take a good look at the man you're supposed to be saving. And, however, it's not a coincidence that the man seems to look an awful lot like Watch Dogs character Aiden. However, this isn't Aiden. It's an entirely different character, but the costume he is wearing is basically Aiden's trademark look from Watch Dogs. If you happen to head over to West 29th Street and find the one building that you can actually enter, go ahead and travel up these stairs and walk through the open door at the back. And in this room, you will find a stash of board games. You get the board games to fall down by shooting them until you can see their covers. You'll see one of the board games is Rayman Raving Rabbids, which is a reference to the popular game Rayman Knockoff developed by Nintendo Wii. If you walk into the firewall safe house, you will find yourself inside a building that appears to be the Ubisoft office into the game. Yeah, so the walls have the Ubisoft logo on them and the walls are full of art from the Ubisoft game Grow Home and a poster for the upcoming Ubisoft action game For Honor. If you guys like Adventure Time, head over to West 29th Street and head over to the park area. And on the wall there, you will see what appears to be graffiti. But if you take a closer inspection, it turns out to be Adventure Time art. Of course, it's missing the exact characters because of copyright and all that beautiful stuff. But the style is definitely the same as Adventure Time. Head up to the location between West 22nd Street and West 23rd Street and there's another park here. So if you happen to head across the park to the back, you will see an American flag on the wall behind some swings. Next to this, you will see an alleyway to the right and go ahead and walk into this and activate your echo. Now, if you haven't seen the movie Shaun of the Dead, there's no big deal about the scene that plays out, right? But if you have, I'm pretty sure you will instantly be able to recognize the scene from the movie. Head on over to the Clinton District and find the Wolves Den and just a little ways away from it there is a patio decorated for a party. Activate your echo on this patio and then walk around and observe the characters. Pretty soon you'll come across a pair of guys talking in the corner, Mr. William White and his friend Mr. Jonathan Pinkman. And it's very obvious that that's a reference to Walter Wright and Jesse, the two main characters from Breaking Bad. But that's not all either. So if you walk to the opposite end from White and Pinkman, you will find and come across a guy labeled as Saul, who is, the description will tell you, sold vacuum cleaners, which is a reference to Saul Goodman, the sleazy criminal lawyer from Breaking Bad. Here we have an I Am Legend reference. Now, I am a big fan of I Am Legend, so if you are too, you will probably remember the scene where Fred the Mannequin is gunned down when he is mysteriously found standing in the street on broad daylight. So you can actually find the same mannequin in the Division 2. So during the Grand Central Station mission, once you clear the bridge, walk up to its end and you will find Fred the Mannequin still just standing there chilling behind some boxes. 
Mr. Bean was a popular British comedy show, and within the game, they stuffed a reference to the live action TV show. So, a parked vehicle with a sofa on top of it, and a corpse in the sofa, referencing the episode of the TV show where Bean buys a new sofa for his apartment and decides to take it home by hitching a ride on top of his car. During the Lexington Event Center mission in the game, if you go off to the beaten path and go down the stairs in the building instead of going up the stairs, you'll eventually come across a whole horde of mannequins with knives in their hands, and a dead man on the floor with a knife sticking out of him, which is a reference to an episode from Doctor Who where killer mannequins are on the loose. One of the characters reconstructed from your Echo in the game turns out to be a curious person who calls himself Nate Dragon. Nate is a historian and he's wanted for questioning regards of some high profile museum heist, which however is a reference to Uncharted and its protagonist Nathan Drake. Have you ever heard of or seen the movie Home Alone or the movies Home Alone? Well, in the game, if you head over to the Hudson Yards, you will soon stumble across a description of a boy that's home alone in his apartment and people are trying to break in. So this one actually gets kind of scary and dark really quickly, but as you listen to a recording of the kid calling his dad, the recording ends with the boy and the dad both screaming, implying that they're dying. So this never happened in the movie, but this is definitely a reference to Home Alone. Hey, buddy. What's wrong? I think they're trying to break in. Open up! Police! Don't open. Call 911. You're not picking up. Dad, you've got to come home. I'm trying, buddy. But the goddamn bridge. You're breaking down the door. How? Did you get the gun from my desk? What? Go get the gun! Any place where there are missing persons posters, for example, right outside your base of operations, go ahead and read the missing persons notifications until you come across one for a man named Joker Nicholson, whose descriptions will indeed say, why so serious? Which is, of course, a reference to the famous Batman villain, The Joker, who is played by Jack Nicholson in the 1989 movie and then by Heath Ledger in the 2008 The Dark Knight. With all that being said, I want to thank you guys all so much for watching as that is going to wrap up 15 secrets and hidden easter eggs for The Division. So if you guys haven't already, give this video a thumbs up as likes are greatly appreciated. And before you guys go, I just want to say if you guys are new to the channel, feel free to click that subscribe button because I do videos like this nearly every single day. So hopefully after watching this video, you learned some new secrets and easter eggs within The Division. So these were pretty fun and cool to see, so hopefully you guys did indeed enjoy. Enjoy. But with that being said, again, I want to thank you all so much for watching, and I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your day, and I will catch you guys later in another video. Help!